Right now, we're learning more tonight about the man that police say was behind that standoff and all the explosions in Montgomery County yesterday. Good evening on this Friday. I'm Jason Martinez. We'll take you live to Eagleville in just a minute. But first, we want to show you this video of the terrifying moments from yesterday's standoff that just came into our newsroom. Now, this video was given to us by a neighbor. You see that woman there frantically running into her home, desperate to check on her son inside. And as the sound from the explosions and fires can be heard in the background there. Now, thankfully, she got to her son okay. They were able to get away safely. You see all the smoke sort of uh, emerging as she tried to get into that house. Our Kelly Rule spoke to that woman, that mother, and you can see her interview with her tonight on Fox 29 News at 10. But right now, let's get more on the suspect, Hank Flynn, live in Eagleville. Hank. Yeah, hey, Jason. Listen, right now we're hearing more about who this man, Thomas Razzi, was. The 66-year-old Eagleville resident who died in his own flame-engulfed home yesterday. Police say they're still investigating. Jason, it, 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 the neighbors say it may just have been the last defiant act of a man who did not like to be told what to do. When you walked into his front door, like his living room, like you just couldn't get past anything. As his former neighbor, Michael Johnson, knew about Tom Razzie's extensive hoarding, he also saw firsthand Razzie's hatred of authority. I would come home sometimes and there would be notes on the door, like citations or whatever, uh, liens, and he would come, I, I would let him know, he'd grab it, ball it up, throw it away. Um, he was definitely anti-establishment. Even so, Johnson says he's floored by what happened here yesterday. Razzi died in his own flaming home yesterday afternoon, an inferno Razzi likely created after he chased off a code enforcement officer with a gun. When police were summoned, Lower Providence Police Chief Michael Jackson says Razzi went inside. Officers established a perimeter and soon heard a series of gunfire and explosions. Almost immediately, smoke and flames were visible from the residence. Police officers immediately began evacuating nearby neighbors and uh, brought them to safety. Jackson emphasized that no shots were fired by responding officers and there's no indication Razzi shot at anyone. The code enforcement officer he adds sustained minor injuries and has been treated and released. No one else was hurt. Jackson says a number of guns have been recovered along with evidence likely connected to the explosions. Apparently he had a hobby of creating his or making his own fireworks and he was uh, at a number of uh, numerous amounts of ammunition within the residence. So that's what we suspect at this time. But that information is being developed as we speak uh, with the investigators who are on the ground. Witnesses as far away as the Turkey Hill in Eagleville say it was 15 to 20 explosions rocking the neighborhood. The end result is three totaled houses, another three damaged, with several neighbors being displaced. As investigators look into what Razzie did to spark the fireball, Johnson, the former neighbor, explores the why. Knowing Tom the way I know him, with the pandemic, going on and not being able to do what he normally was, is able to do and everything else like that. I just, I, I think it, it may have pushed him over the edge because he, like, again, it goes back to him not liking no. Yeah, and Jason, a good example, Johnson adds, is the time that Razzie put up a shed that branched onto Johnson's property, and Johnson said the two of them argued. Even though Razzie knew that he was wrong, he continued to argue. Police continue to investigate here. Uh, if you have any tips, go ahead and call Lower Providence Police with them, and if you are in need of Red Cross assistance, the police chief says to reach out to the Lower Providence Fire Marshal. We're live here in Eagleville. Jason?